Shamar Moore's next major step has finally been discovered following his departure from Criminal Minds. Moore was announced as the lead in CBS's upcoming cop drama SWAT in early 2017, and fans have been waiting with anticipation ever since. In today's video, we're going to be discussing SWAT behind the scenes secrets fans didn't know about. Let's dive right into it. First up, the secrets surrounding the cast. The series announcement was kept under wraps for a long time, but when it was announced, it was with Shamar Moore as the clear star, a character of Daniel Hondo Harrelson. Moore couldn't control his joy when the announcement of the program was announced in late February, and he took to social media to confirm his role in the SWAT remake. He has subsequently kept fans updated on the show's progress by sharing countless behind-the-scenes photographs from filming and hanging out with the whole cast and crew on social media. Moore is most known for his long-running role as Derek Morgan on Criminal Minds. Before that, he featured on The Young and the Restless. The show is a reboot. Characters in SWAT will be known to many viewers because the new show is based on the 2003 film of the same name starring Samuel L. Jackson, Colin Farrell, and Michelle Rodriguez. Fewer people recognize that the film and the current series are both based on the ABC SWAT series, which aired from February 1975 to April 1976. Lieutenant Hondo Harrelson, Robert Urich, and Rod Perry starred in in the original series as Lieutenant Hondo Harrelson, Jim Street, and David Deacon K, respectively. The premise of the SWAT reboot. SWAT star Shamar Moore is a former Marine and local born and raised SWAT sergeant entrusted with running a specialized tactical team that is the final stop in law enforcement in Los Angeles, as inspired by the television series and feature film. Daniel Hondo Harrelson tries to bridge the gap between his two worlds and adjust to his new role as the legal guardian of a teenager, torn between devotion to where he was reared and commitment to his brothers in blue. David Deacon K, a seasoned SWAT cop and the loyal family guy who always puts the team first, Christina Chris Alonzo, talented officer and the squad's canine trainer, and Dominique Luca, a smart driver who gets them in and out of the high-stress situations, make up Hondo's elite unit. Victor Tan, who started in the LAPD, Hollywood division, and helps the squad with his confidential information performance in the neighborhood, and Jim Street, the team's arrogant newest member, who is sacked for compromising the unit and is reinstated to SWAT Commander Robert Hicks, top LAPD officer with the Special Operations Bureau, is in charge of all Metro Division SWAT units. Following the departure of Captain Jessica Cortez for the FBI, the mayor appoints Lieutenant Piper Lynch to SWAT as a tactical advisor, where she criticizes the team's field plan, raising doubts about her commitment. He's committed men and women, led by Hondo, heroically put themselves in harm's way to protect their community and save lives. SWAT partly draws inspiration from true experiences with some police officers. A lot of the cast members are familiar with real-life experiences with police officers coupled with the spike of recent police shootings of unarmed black men. It can feel never-ending and complicated to portray on network television. However, showrunners like Moore are confident that they will be able to pull the this off. Aaron Rasan Thomas, a co-executive producer, is sure that pulling from real-life experiences is the key to making the show feel authentic. Coupling with authentic experiences, Moore's character is a biracial cop, making him exceptionally compelling, who juggles both sides of the spectrum. Speaking of drawing from real-life experiences, what are some of the real-life approaches that the show has? One of the top requirements to be on a real SWAT team is being in godlike physical shape. Maybe not actually godlike, but they do have to be able to run on rooftops, jump fences, etc. This, of course, requires the SWAT team to be in shape, and that was something the cast took to heart. The real-life Metro LAPD SWAT team has to work out every day to stay in the shape required for the job. Being in the gym isn't a bad thing, and it's actually helped the cast to be able to endure some of the more athletic scenes and episodes. Shamar Moore, a black actor, replaced the white Hondo character played by Steve Forrest. Weaving in real-life experiences for the audience audience to connect with, this switch in casting is pivotal to help weave in the impact of some serious social issues into the action on screen. As characters on the show react to the George Floyd murder and ensuing protests where the community clashes with police forces, Hondo's father is triggered by the riots and recalls the riots in 1992 after the Rodney King verdict. While the Rodney King riots ensued, Hondo had made the choice to join the Marines, which put him at odds with his father who wanted him to go to college. If he thought it couldn't get 
any more physically demanding, the cast wears gear developed for real SWAT teams. If you're out there catching bad guys, you cannot stop to catch your breath every few blocks. But you could if you imagine having to wear 40 pounds of gear as you run to chase these bad guys. Don't forget, sometimes they're jumping around on rooftops too. Since the cast is staying in shape for their roles, they have no problems carrying around the 40 pounds of gear that SWAT teams actually carry. The cast of SWAT was actually trained by the San Diego SWAT team. The training did not turn out to be anything like the cast had expected. They ended up being trained by the San Diego SWAT team and some Navy SEALs. The cast arrived on the set of the filming anticipating going over a few exercises, handling gear properly, and learning to move as a unit. Despite the rigorous training and gym routines, the show's front runners aren't complaining about it. They agree that it helps make the show more realistic. Why did long runner Stephanie Sigmund leave the cast of SWAT? In the first two seasons, Stephanie Sigmund played the commanding officer at the LAPD Metropolitan Division, Jessica Cortez. Her character was also in a short-term relationship with Shamar Moore's character, Hondo Harrelson. At the end of the second season, her character took an undercover role with the FBI department. Fans were disappointed when they didn't see her in season three and confused. There was no official statement as to why she left. Sigmund left to take on new roles, stating that she was looking for her next adventure, like Jessica Cortez. Baby Girl Nation shows up no matter where the show is filming. People like to say that love has no bounds. And that's true for Shamar Moore's Baby Girl Nation. Fan base. Despite them tagging along on every film set, there's nothing negative that's to be said about them. His mix of the fan base is a great example of unity. It has all ages, cultures, and ethnicities that are the embodiment of what not only Shamar Moore stands for, but his character Hondo. The actor Kenny Johnson, who plays Dominique Luca in SWAT, is dyslexic. While we hear a lot about how some actors have had to overcome some insane obstacles to be able to break out into acting. However, how many actors, actresses do you know in Hollywood that are dyslexic? Johnson disclosed this fact about himself in a documentary, Under the Skin. Dyslexia is a condition where people have more difficulties reading because they're unable to identify speech sounds. Despite being dyslexic, Johnson's a successful actor, beating all odds. While he's on set, someone reads the script aloud to him so he can get the dialogue quicker. Shamar Moore felt he did all he could on Criminal Minds and he left before he secured his role on SWAT. Shamar Moore left the Criminal Minds show because he felt that he did all he could with his character Derek Morgan. Moore took this step before knowing what would happen next, believing that whatever would come next would be it. He hopes that his role on SWAT will help lead to changes in conversations and that the show itself could lead to progress. Moore's diverse character helps show there is conflict within the police officers. The Blue Curtain and what it means to be an officer on the force while there are injustices raging around you. All right, guys, that's all for this video on the SWAT behind the scenes secrets that fans didn't know about. What did you think? Do you think that SWAT will be renewed for a sixth season? Who's your favorite character? Make sure to comment below and let us know. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. See you next time.